Hey there guys and welcome back. Got a fun deck for you guys today. I'm wearing red because I think this is the shirt that I'm gonna have to wear for these because for some reason like the black up here didn't make me transparent but the black down here did. I don't know but this red seems to work so it's the one I'm probably gonna be wearing. But we got a Sethensius Blaze deck today that you may have seen me playing on stream a while back but I figured I'd share it with you guys because I've had a lot of fun with this deck. I mean it's not a deck you win with, and I mean, I made Sesencius Blaze Premium because she looks amazing premium, and just for this deck, because it's the only fun deck for Sesencius, and the only way I think that she actually works. But the idea is to get your opponent to play Sesencius, so they discard their whole hand, and when they do, if you do it when they have a full hand, if they do it when they have a full hand, because they have to do it, then you, they usually just forfeit. You're probably like, wait a minute, how do I get my opponent to play Sesencius? Well, you play, um... Avalok the Sage, which spawns a default copy of random gold silver unit from your opponent's starting deck, which against us we have a 1 in 4 chance, 1 in 3 chance of them hitting the Sethensius when they play the Avalok the Sage, which is why I'm not running any silver units and I'm only running spells and I'm only running 4 silvers because I only want to run these 4 spells and I don't want to run, I would love to run a Sarah in this deck but I can't. Um, but. Yeah, so you get them to play Avalok the Sage, and you do that by playing Schiller to draw the top card from your deck, and you think about it for a minute, and then you pick their card, and you give them an Avalok the Sage, and you guarantee Avalok the Sage on top of your deck with Stefan Skellen. Now, you really have to act like you're thinking about taking their card or not when you do this, because or else they're going to know something's up. Some people know what's up, some people don't, and... It's, it's really funny when they just play your Avalok the Sage because it's a 7 power and they're like, ah, thank you. And then they look at the card for a minute that it grabs them a random one of and they forfeit or they play it and then they forfeit. It's pretty fun. So we'll get into the rest of the deck now because that's the main idea behind it. The rest of this is just stuff to help you play while you don't have it. So we got 3 ointments, Resurrect Bronze Juno, 5 power or less, 3 Maka Males, Boost random ally in each row by 4. 12 power bronze, pretty good. I mean, for our resurrecting units, we got Novice and Slave Driver. Or if you manage to steal something from them, that's 5 or less. So we got 3 Slave Drivers, created bronze unit for opponent's starting deck. Non-unique anymore, so he really got hit, which... He's more balanced now, I think. He's still decent. He's just not OP and really annoying because he'll always steal the same card. But... Yeah, so we got three of him. Then we got three Vicavaro Medics, Resurrect a Bronze Unit from your opponent's graveyard. Pretty cool, because this one you actually get to pick the unit that you res, and you get to take it from their graveyard. So that's helpful against some decks. And then we got two Vicavaro Novices. We'll get two, or three, we'll get two random Bronze Alchemy cards from your deck and play one. The Mock Males and the Ointment is what we got for him to pick from, so that's pretty good. Then we got... Three armored, Elba armored cavalry. Whenever an ally appears, boost self by one. So anytime you play an ally, you're gonna get plus one on this guy. These guys are really cool when you got things like Vicavaro novice, Vicavaro Nev ne uh, medic, and slave driver, because they end up adding up really quickly. It just really sucks when a slave driver takes them from you. Um, I'm also not running any witchers because we don't have that many alchemy cards. We have these two, and then we have like five down there, so it'd only be seven damage, witcher. Which isn't the best, since some of the gold slots would be alchemy and I'd be running some more silvers. But, then we got a runestone to create a silver Nilfgaardian card. This gives us a silver Nilfgaard card without, like a silver Nilfgaard unit without running a silver Nilfgaard unit. Which is why it's in here. And silver Nilfgaard units are usually pretty good. Unless you have bad luck, then, then they're something horrible. Like the one that grabs a machine. Then we got expired ale, deal 6 damage to the highest enemy on each row. It's a really good bronze if they don't play around it. It's 18 power bronze. It's it's really good. Expired Ale is amazing. Um, marching Orders. Boost lowest bronze or silver unit in your deck by 2. Then play it. This will grab you a Slave Driver or a Medic. Just a little bit of deck thinning. I mean, you don't want to play it unless you're in the situation where you can use a Medic. So just in case it grabs you a Medic. Then we got the Last Wish. Look at two random cards from opponent's deck. Then play one. Pretty cool. I mean, from your deck, then play one. And yeah, it looks at... Like Two random cards, you play one, it's a little bit of deck thinning. Helps out a little bit with that. And then our gold slots have to be dedicated to these four for the combo to work, which is why they are all in here. So, 
That's about it for the deck profile. Then, of course, I got John Colvett to look at the top three cards. Because what I really like is if you play John Colvett and you see that you have like a card, then Avalok the Sage, then another card, you can pick whatever card is before Avalok the Sage, then Avalok the Sage will be on top of your deck, and then you can play the Shillard and just give them a three power Avalok the Sage, which they're more likely to play the Avalok the Sage when it's only at three power. But if you put it on top of your deck with stuff and skull and, and then use Shillard, they're like, uh, they start with thinking something might be up, but some people don't. But I mean, I've had a lot of my successful ones where I get to burn like their whole hand has been with John Colvett seeing Avalok the Sage on top of my deck and then Shillard using Shiller to give it to them, just the normal three power one. So that's about it for this one, guys. We're getting to some games. Really mad I can't put card at the end of this deck profile name, but that's what the game says. It's You just activated my trap. So <laughs> we'll get some games in, and I'll don't expect me to win, but we'll show you how it works. I'll see you guys there. All right, trial five, crashing great, because I want my first one to be a successful one, but this is the type of deck you're going to have. Oh, hey, we got the combo. Um, We're not going to win much, I mean, unless you play it out normally, but if you want to pull out the combo, that's not going to happen every time. You saw my stream, I think I pulled it off quite a few times in a couple hours, but <laughs> it's not consistent, because it can't be consistent. got to count on your opponent playing this for throwing... Avalok the Sage back though, because we can't have him in our hand. Now we'll hope he's on top of our deck. Okay, he's bringing his card right out. Is it longer? No. Alright, let's use our leader. See if we can get Avalok Sage on top of our deck. Nope. Just go with Slave Driver. And a bear. Guess. Bear sounds alright. Then we'll do the. Stefan Skull and Schillard combo. Hope for the best. Saskia was on top of my deck. <laughs> it's just taunting me. Okay, a long ship. Oh, looks like he's going for Yona. A Yona combo. It's pretty cool. Well, let's see if we can discard Yona from the top of his... I mean, discard Yona from his deck. Or make him do it. Because you gotta count on getting the Schillard and the Stefan Skull and then you gotta count on your opponent playing out of the Sage, and then you got a one in three chance if all those happen that <laughs> it grabs you the Sasuke off. Okay, let's play Shillard. That's why this part is the most important part, acting like, do I really want this? Do I really want to give him out of the Sage? Yes, I do. And I want him to play it. Act like this is like a super good card to take away from him. Okay, play it. He says dot dot dot. I think he knows what's up. He's just not gonna play it. Wild Boar of the Sea? Let's go with Runestone. No, because when he plays a Priest of Freya, that's what I want to rune stone. What did he just put in there? Hey, May Spear Raiden. None of these are soldiers. So resing that wouldn't be as good. So it looks like he's trying to strengthen his ship now. Then go for a Yoana combo. Probably saying dot 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 because he thought we took some good. Come on, play Avalok the Sage. Yes! Saskia. Saskia. Be the Saskia. Go, Dragon Flame. Dragon Flame. Come on. He's hovering over it. Yes! We did it. <laughs> we discarded his whole hand. <laughs> Oh, that feels so good. Usually they forfeit there, but not this guy. He's like, dot, dot, dot. He's not too happy. Oh, I don't even care if we win now. That's how that feels when it finally pops off. It's just so beautiful. It's down to six cards. 
And it banishes them, so he can't even res them. Like, there you go. You can take the round. <laughs> Sometimes you get them to forfeit right away when they pull the Sasuke up. But still, you, I wish I could look at the banished pile to know like exactly what I burned on him. No, we don't want you. <laughs> Oh, you look so nice, though. Let's throw her back. Now we can res his ships on him. If he passes us, take those away. He might not, though. He might go for, like, an extended round. I'll laugh if his hand was so trash that he was actually happy that that happened. wonder what we got rid of. Ornamental sword, alright. We gotta steal those ships right away. What did he just shuffle back into his deck? A ship? Okay. Well, we're stealing that ship. Mm. I think he thinks we're running a mill deck or something. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> I think we're just messing with his plans now. The trolliest of troll decks. For sure, this deck. Uh, this deck's so fun. When it pops off. A bear. Well, we're about to start playing our Alba Armored Cavalry. Get some value on that. He might still beat us. I mean, if he got lucky and he still has like a restore Yoana or something. Wow, he still had another bear in his deck. Okay, let's go Slave Driver. Organic or Hazard? The poultices are organic, right? Organic alchemy. Yeah, I kind of like two ships going though. And that'll set us up for a nice, um, poultice with our novice here. Arrakis Venom. Oh, that's why he runs it. He runs, um, Arrakis Venom combo that I like. Let's create a silver card here. Let's see what we get. Treason, Basser, Joam de Wit. So we'll give him a Joam de Wit. We'll grab a novice, apparently. So we'll grab his anointment. Well, grab us a slave driver and hopefully a priest of Freya. Hey, here we go. Priest of Freya. Modern Freya we'll grab us a bear. But she brooks no insult. Set us up nicely for a mock male, too. There we go. I like that combo chain. Pretty rude. Ah, oh, crap. I forgot to steal his bear. Oh no, just a mandrake. Alright. Well, let's steal his bear next. They might be planning on using that. My prescription, a bit Take of your trouble. bear. And we'll put it here. Just line myself up pretty nicely for an Igni. Usually when you pull out the Sasuke Dragon Flame, the game doesn't continue. <laughs> At least when they have that many cards in their hand. Ha! That is why we eat that one card. So, let's use up this Arrakis Venom. Yeah, I want to kill off the bear. Let's do that one. The minus one point for how many more points I, like, get. Denim? Oh yeah, he has another ship. That's right. So we just gotta not of course, as you wish lose out in this round and save our marching orders for the other guy. Let's go with ointment. Slave driver again. See if he gives us luck again. Yeah, Priest of Freya. 
Modern Freyr is patient. Peacemaster. She brooks no insult. Then, there we go. He obviously didn't have an Igni. So I don't have to worry about that, even though I set myself up twice for an Igni this game. Alright, now, since we go first, we just have to steal the bear? Steal the bear or the ship? Which one do you think is more important? Hmm. Let's throw back all the armored cavalry, try to. Okay, poultice. Okay, give me medic. Nope, slave driver. Bear? Yeah, bear. Wonder what type of deck he's running. Looks like he's going for a Corsair that he still had in his deck. We banished all those cards and you still have all this? How? Yeah, it's alright. We'll go with a uh, novice. Grab our mock mail. I think we still win. Oh, Olaf. Oh, no. No, I just plan is that, Joanna. Um, let's go, slave driver. Beastmaster again. Did he really not banish his Joanna when we did that? I thought he did. It oh, looks like nope. And 12 is enough. So, <laughs> we still beat him. <laughs> we, we got the Sasuke of Dragonfire. That's what matters, guys. That's what matters. Win, lose, draw, whatever. When you get those conditions to meet right and you play that Sasuke of Dragonfire, this is the best thing. Uh, okay, that's game one. Took me five tries, which is pretty quick, I think. The other ones, I'll just play the deck normally, but that one I wanted to show you guys. When it pops off, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's the only way I'd play Sasuke because that card is so trash. The only way to make it good is to make your opponent play it. So <laughs> let's let's get into the next one, guys. The All right, game two, Axeman. We most likely don't pull off the combo <laughs> twice in a row, and we most likely lose to Axeman. We have a chance, guys. We have a chance. Wow. Um. Throw Sethentius back, don't want her. We're going to throw back Avlock to Sage last because I want to... I want to try to pull... You have more success if, like, you don't do the stuff in Skullin before the Shillard. Um, we're going to want these medics. I guess I'll give up one of these Alba Calvaries. And then throw Avlock Sage back last so he has the highest chance of being on top of my deck. We might get it two times in a row, guys. I would be so happy. The hope is there. Is he going straight disloyal? The gods won't be pleased. Yeah. See, they're no fun. We'll do John Calvet. Oh, look at this. Sassensius is on top of my deck again. Why are you there, not Avalok the Sage? Let's go, Runestone. Well, we might as well go, um, Alberic. <laughs> we'll take our Sassensius in our hand. Then he'll probably pass us. Maybe not. Ragnarok? Okay, so you need a uh, 18 power play. It's not too hard to pull off. I mean, let's play stuff and skull and put Avlock the Sage on top of our deck. Don't pass me now. Come on, play something. You just used your big weather card. Okay, good. <laughs> We're gonna shillard. And we gotta act like we're thinking about this. 
course, because, I mean, if you just go right with the second choice, it's like, well, why did you use Stefan Skellen to put that card on top of your deck if you're going to give it to me? There has to be something up. Okay, let's take his warship. Play it. Right now, Axeman. You're an Axeman player. If you play that and I discard a few Axemen or something from his deck, that'd be amazing. Stars are all the now we're going with the Tursec Veteran deck. Alright, I think we're pretty far ahead. I mean, no point sitting in this weather if we don't have to, but I do kind of want to steal something from him. Looks like it's a Denim Warship. Four damage to that. Get rid of the armor. Because, I mean, if we play Mahakamal, he's going to take the damage anyway. But we'll pass after this. Even if he played it, we'd have a 1 in 3 chance of um, it grabbing the Sicentius. Looks like this guy's not going to play it, though. They're never any fun. Axeman. It's past there. Then he can dry pass us and we'll steal one of his axemen with our medic. We have nothing to deal with his Durin and everything though, so I mean like... This is probably insta-loss against Axemen because we can't run Igni, we can't run Coral, can't run any of those nice golds. I don't know, that'd be a 26 Igni right there. Medic, double medic, good. That's what we need to see to keep this marching orders too. I guess I'll throw back. Now I gotta hold on to the ship for mind game reasons. We'll keep it. Oh wait, throw back to Cynthia's. There we go. <laughs> Is he actually gonna play us out? Oh, he threw back our Avalok. That's age. He didn't even want to play it. He's no fun. Well, we're gonna take um. An Axeman from him. Then we're going to take his other Axeman. At the beginning of the next round. He must have knew what my plan was. I never have him throw it back in the deck. That's weird. Alba Cavalry. Triple Alba Cavalry. And he got our... He got our... our no, he threw it back again. He definitely doesn't want that. Well, let's steal his other Axeman. Play at bottom row. He probably has Durin in the other Axemen, though. So, I mean... Drought? Alright. Well, we'll go with an Alba Cavalry. Alba! We have his warship, which will actually give us a little bit of value. Skelga Storm instead, okay. Let's start playing on this row. And Priests of Freya for uh, another Axeman? Yeah, alright. Take the Priests of Freya. This will stutter the damage some, boost up our Alba Cavalry. Take another Axeman. Pretty sure we still lose. I mean, how... Without weather clear or anything. Well, we could do four damage to that, and then he buffs, and then kills us anyway. Alba! We'll play another Alba Calvary. We have no answers for Axeman. Harpooner? They put them all in the row anyway. So now we play our other Alba Cavalry. Then we'll play the novices and hope to get like some ointments. Some for some slave drivers and then some priests of prayer or something, I don't know. 
I don't know, guys. I don't think there's much, <laughs> much we can do. We denied him two axemen. That's about all we can do. And he didn't want to play our Avalakta Sage. So he must have known what was up. Is that another Axeman? Or a ship? Must really be trying to kill those off. Alright, let's go. The Kavaro Novice. To Ointment. To Slave Driver. Put him top row. To Axeman. To the top row. So now at least we have a warship target. Then we'll go with another novice. He's dropping him, so he's probably planning on passing now. All right, let's go with uh, another novice. That was nothing to another us. ointment. To another slave driver. <laughs> Into Denim Warship. There you go, that didn't work out so bad. We covered from his leader pretty well. But I mean, he's got two card advantage if he passes here. Is there anything left to steal? Yeah, we got another ship that we could steal with our medic. If we get medic. It's probably an Axeman. Oh no, now we have no ship to steal. But we still have the ship in our hand. <laughs> Maybe this will pull us a slave driver. What's our chances? We used up one of them, two of them, and no... No, two novices. Our chances are pretty low. Oh, hey. Got a slave driver. For a clan and creep warship. Doesn't give us as much value as the denim warship. Oh, we're keeping up pretty. Well, I guess not. Two cards down, we're still not in the lead. We could catch up. Another warship. It's probably got a lacerate or something though, which will just shut us down. No, oh, no, well, that was a slow play. Oh no, he got the eight power for the next turn. Okay. So we ping him off. And we'll play... Foul Ale and Mock Mail? Probably not gonna be enough. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> we don't have anything to deal with that. Close, close, but not close enough. Siri Nova! See, if he hadn't gotten the Siri first, maybe we could have tricked him, but he knew something was up with Avalok the Sage. <laughs> Alright, we lost that one. We got to try for the combo twice, though. That's the most annoying time, is when you get the combo and then they just don't play Avalok the Sage, and it's like. Man, yeah, it was still pretty close, I guess. So we'll get in the last one now. Yeah, right. Game three, dig on. Death wish. You usually just run death. Death wish. Wow, we have a chance for it again. Except we have no Shillard. So might not even have a chance for it. Throw a lock sage back last. How should we do this? So we don't have the Shillard as a thing.
Let's look at two random cards from our deck. Hmm. <sighs> The whole fun goes out the window when you play this guy. And that is like all we're trying for, so we're gonna play a medic. Yep. Then we're gonna pass him. And hopefully drawn to Shillard. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Medic or Avalok the Sage, that's no good. No! It's taunting us now. Oh, even worse. Well, we'll keep this. Because if he dry passes us. And then we meet the one guy who doesn't drive past you and wants to play two cards down. Okay. <laughs> so I was gonna say, we can play Stefan Scollin. And put a what's his face on top of our deck. Shillard. It looks like we might just be playing Avalok the Sage this game. Ooh. Move a hazard. And then we row to a different row. Let's move her middle row. Stop her buffing at least. What's he got in here? A foglet and a siren. Does us no good. Gales? You're really going... Going hard. Okay. Well, against this guy, we have locked the sage. He's not gonna pass us. Huh. A Nurkarat. So Blood Moon. And then we Slave Driver. Alright. So we Blood Moon that row. And then we Slave Driver. And even if he takes this, it's gonna go... Two. Yeah, take two damage. It's not really gonna matter because he has bridge trolls. All right, let's go. It didn't happen, guys. Let's move this to the middle row. I don't think, I think these poultices are going to be dead. Yeah, it's looking like it. Werecat. Hmm. Let's John Calvet. Yeah, Slave Driver. Probably going to give me what I wanted now. Oh, Siren. Double Siren. No. Didn't give me what I wanted. Okay, these sleeve drivers are much more fair now. Another wear cat. So we we'll go runestone. Swears isn't the greatest, but I mean, Joel Day Wet's not too bad, but we can do two damage to him also. Grab a novice, okay, then a mock mail. Hmm. How much of this hand am I- I can set up Stefan and Skull and put a card on top of my deck. Then Saskia at least. Because I mean the rest of this hand is pretty much dead. Of course, as you wish, Let's go with another mock mail. Besides Stefan and Skull. And. So I'll play Stefan and Skull. And. Then we'll Saskia. <laughs> we'll, we'll actually use the Saskia on ourselves. There's not too much else. 
All right, let's grab Stuff and Scala. What would be the best card? Expired Ale, honestly. Even though it doesn't give us plus three. A lock? Okay. Looks like, yeah, he's going all out on this one. Yeah, we got that ointment though. We got that dead novice. That's probably death. That's death, guys. Unless, nope, nothing, nothing ended up here. I guess I can spawn a moonlight. No bronze unit. Can't even do that. We go six, six, three, and six. We used up all our mod. No, we have one more mock mail. He's gonna pass us here, and he's still gonna have it. It's a funny thing. No, we have no mock mails. Step away while you can. Step away while I can. I didn't give it to pull off my combo, man. I got a poultice. <laughs> Doesn't even heal nobody anymore. Ah. Oh. The succubus. He used that connection lost. Well, we lost that one, obviously, and I just lost connection, so <laughs> can save this before it does something weird, but yeah, that's, you're going to probably lose if you don't pull off the combo, but if you pull off the combo, it's really fun, so you can just forfeit until you get the combo and see if they play it. It's just funny, so that's the deck, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one, and have a good one.